Hey, what's going on? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a service called DocuSign. And if you are in the real estate business, or really any business out there that requires people to sign things and create legal agreements or authorizations or anything like that, this could probably be of some use to you. So stick around, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so back when I first got into the real estate investing business, the way that I did things was whenever I was gonna send an offer to purchase a property, I would put together a written agreement, print it off on my computer, I would sign it, fold it up, put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it, stick it in the mail. It would take anywhere from, I don't know, three to five days to get to the person. Then they would have to sign it and then they'd, they'd have to do the exact same thing and mail it back to me. All in all, I mean, it easily wasted 10 or more days just waiting for this entire process to, to go through if it ever went through. You know, I gotta imagine there were a lot of deals I probably lost Lost as a result of doing it that way. And if you don't know what DocuSign, this is something you really ought to pay attention to because it could be really helpful to you. And it's been really helpful to me as I've kind of moved into the next generation of technology that the world has to offer. So DocuSign, the way it works is you can you know, put together these documents, contracts, agreements, whatever you want to, anything that needs signatures, and you can sign it digitally on your computer and then email it to the other parties they can also sign it digitally from their computers or even their phones and then the system will automatically notify you when it's done and it's seriously possible to do this in like a matter of minutes if not seconds rather than waiting days or weeks for physical papers to move around through the mail. If you ask me, there's really no reason not to be using a service like this. It's just so easy to use, so convenient, makes sense from pretty much every angle. So. If you're interested in something like this, stick around. I'm gonna show you how DocuSign works and how you can start putting this to work in your business right now if you want to. And I do have an affiliate link beneath this video. If you sign up through that link, I will get a small commission. And you can also get a free 30-day trial of the service if you go through that link. So be sure to check that out if you wanna just get a taste for it and see if this is something you wanna use. Um, but yeah, follow along with me and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so if you've clicked the affiliate link beneath this video, uh, once you get to the website, you should see something like this. And if you wanna get started with a free trial, uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just go ahead and sign up right here. And then just go ahead and put in your information. And then for me, I'm a real estate investor, so I guess probably this one makes the most sense. Then get started. Okay, so then it's gonna make you confirm your email address. Let's go back and do that quick. And then here it is, click activate. All right, so. Let's go ahead and put together a password here, usual drill. Okay, so just right off the bat, you can either get started with signing your first document, say if you've got one ready to go that you know you're gonna use immediately. Or another thing you can do is go ahead and add a photo of yourself and create your own signature. This can kind of help just in terms of credibility, and then it will also help speed up the process whenever you're trying to get things signed. Your signature can kind of just be in there and ready to go. So let's go ahead and do this quick. Put that in there, that's all set. Let's create my signature quick. And then when you get to this part, you can really pick any one of these things. Say if there's one that looks you know, remotely close to your signature, or really if you just like the look of something, that's fine too. My signature is pretty messy, so I guess I'm gonna go with this one right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this, and I'll show you how the process works. One particular function of DocuSign that's helpful to me is when I'm sending offers to people or say I've got a purchase agreement that's ready to go, I just need to get the other party's signature. So if I was gonna do something like that, I can go here and click send a document. If you've got like a special Word document or PDF file in mind that you need to get signed by both parties, you can go ahead and upload that. So just to give you an example here, I'm gonna upload a sample document so you can see how that looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this, upload a document. And this is the one I'm gonna be using here. It's called Test Purchase Agreement. As this thing says, I'm gonna go ahead and put my name in here. So then that's all set. And then Add Recipient. I'm just gonna make up a name here, say John Smith. I'm gonna put in just an alternate email address so that I can actually show you what it looks like to the recipient's end when it gets sent to them. And then down here, if there's something specific that you want to say to all the parties that need to sign it, you can go ahead and put that here. So if you wanna change the subject line, you can do that pretty easily, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Go ahead and click next. Okay, so at this point, all you gotta do is find the signature block for this document. So I'm gonna blur this stuff out because this is like a specific contract. So we'll go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom. 
Now in this case, I'm the buyer and I'm sending this offer, so I'm gonna be signing right here, and then John Smith is gonna be signing and dating right here. So all I have to do is go ahead and click signature, and then put that right here, and then we'll take date and put that right here. We'll also do this for the seller, and this is going to John Smith, so we'll click his name here, and then date right there. And this is going to John Smith as well. So basically, as the colors indicate, the yellow ones are the ones that are gonna show up in my inbox so that I can sign it. And then the blue ones are the ones that are going to John Smith's inbox so that he can sign and date it. And as you can see, there's some other things here that I'm not really gonna be using because this template that I uploaded really has all the information baked into it already before I even uploaded it. So there's nothing else that really needs to be changed at this point. It just needs to be signed and dated by both parties. So in my case, this is a pretty simple thing. If there were other options and things that you wanted to be able to change about the document itself you could use some of these tools here as well so once that's all set we'll go ahead and click send up here so now that email has basically been sent out to John Smith's email address, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a second. And since I'm the person that's actually creating this I can just go ahead and sign it right here from the website so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here and you might notice up here there's this little notification where DocuSign wants to know my location. I'm going to explain a little bit about that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and say allow. And then this is what DocuSign is showing me. This is the document that needs to be signed. If I wanted to, I could do this later or I could print it out and sign it or I could assign it to somebody else. But to keep things simple, we're going to go ahead and sign this. So all we got to do is click right there and Seth Williams is in there. The date is in there. Pretty simple. Go ahead and click finish. And there we go. My signature is complete. We're just waiting for others at this point. So to show you what this looks like on John Smith's end, I'm going to go to my email inbox where I sent it. And this is what that email looks like to the recipient. So when they get it, they can go ahead and just click review documents. Pretty simple and straightforward. Then they can just go right here, click that checkbox and do continue. And as John Smith can see, I've already signed this and the date is there. So he can see I've already agreed. I've already done my part. He just needs to do his part. Let's go ahead and click that. And he can either select a style like this or he can actually draw it out if he wants. It's really up to the recipient, whatever they want to do. Just keep this simple. We'll stick with this pre-selected style and click adopt and sign. And then boom, that is finished. So we'll go ahead and click finish up here. And of course, if John Smith wants to keep a copy of this document, he can sign up for his own account or he has the option of just not doing that. So we can click no thanks if he doesn't want to do that. So now that John Smith's part is done, if we go back here to my dashboard and refresh this, we can see from my perspective here that this document is now complete. And now that this is complete, if we want, we can forward this to somebody. Say if we wanted to send this to our title company or something like that, we could do so. I'm going to just send this to myself just to see what that kind of email looks like to the recipient. And by the way, I should also mention, if you have a DocuSign account and you've created a document and sent it to somebody, you'll also get these little email notifications when that recipient has viewed the document. So you're actually going to know when they've got it and seen it. You don't have to wonder if it's actually come across their inbox yet because this will tell you. So that's kind of nice. You'll also get a separate email when the document is completed. So if you've got multiple people that need to sign a document, you'll get an email notification when that's done. And then again, this was the little test document that I sent to myself when it was all done. So let's go ahead and review that and now we can just review the final copy and see what it looks like and there it is it's pretty simple and straightforward now something I want to show you here where it says view certificate this is actually a pretty important document and this is part of why digital signatures are seen as legally enforceable signatures by so many people, organizations, courts, governments. And the reason they're able to do that is because systems like DocuSign do a really, really good job of giving us a pretty good level of certainty that the person who digitally signed this is actually that person. It wasn't some imposter or hacker or somebody who got into the system and did it. Because when you think about it, these invitations to view documents are going to that person's email address and this also tracks that computer's IP address which also helps us understand that computer's location this information is heavily encrypted with a great deal of security and for all those reasons that's why digital signatures are legally enforceable and for most intents and purposes you can plan on this holding up in court if it ever comes to that situation and of course there can always be odd 
ball exceptions to this rule. I'm not telling you that that's always going to be the case. I'm just saying digital signatures are not some loosey goosey way of signing documents. They are pretty strong and solid ways of getting a person's authorization or agreement to something. And in the vast majority of cases, you really can rely on that as being pretty much the same as a final authoritative agreement from someone. So just wanted to kind of show that to you and help you understand that this is pretty legit. I will say that when it comes to recording deeds and other things at the county level, there's still a lot of counties out there I've found that have not gotten on the bandwagon yet in terms of accepting digital signatures. So if you're working with deeds or anything that's going to be recorded by the county on any level, I would definitely contact that county first to verify whether or not they'll accept digital signatures. And along those lines, if you're ever curious about what kind of signatures are legal in what places around the world, DocuSign also has this section of their site that can kind of help inform you about that in case you're unsure. I'm gonna link to this page beneath this video as well in case you're curious about that. But basically all you have to do, as the page says, is just check the legality based on where you're at in the world. So. Let's go ahead and click this for example. We're going to select a country and I'm going to select United States in my case. And this just gives more information about how legal signatures work in this country. And you can find out more of this stuff in a lot of other countries around the world as well. So just keep that in mind. If you're not totally sure how the law works wherever you are at, check this out because I'm definitely not an attorney and I would not call myself a legal expert in any way. Before you act on anything here or move forward with any general assumptions, just cross check it here to make sure that uh, everything is going to work in your situation. I think DocuSign is an awesome service and whether or not you use my affiliate link, I think it can definitely help you in your business. So if you do use my link, I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. But either way, if you need something like this, I hope you're able to find a good solution that works well in your business. Thanks again for watching. Hope things are going great for you and I will talk to you later.